Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best VPNs for Mac. Over the years, the three that have proven themselves consistently to be the best VPN options if you have a Mac are going to be ExpressVPN, NordVPN and Surfshark. All three of them are going to allow you to connect to different countries all over the world and make it seem as if you're in those countries in order to access content or websites or now with the new age verification laws going into effect in the UK, Australia and even the United States, you can use a VPN to avoid all that and not have to give out your ID in order to access content online. These VPNs are also great at getting you more privacy and security. They'll keep your internet activity totally hidden hidden from your internet service provider, any government agency, or even hacker. And with these in particular, because they've been audited and verified by some pretty big companies, they don't even know themselves what you're doing online. They don't keep any logs about what their users are doing. And you can install them on any Apple device, not just your Mac. You can put it on your iPhone, your iPad, and even your Apple TV. Now I'm going to put links in the description so that you can get more information about each one of these VPNs individually. But just to break it down simply, what is the difference between them? So so what's the differences between them? So ExpressVPN is going to be the best for somebody who might be a beginner to VPNs, or even if you're not a beginner, but you just want something simple and easy to use. It has a really nice, clean interface. If you want to get to the countries, you just click on this button and a window will pop open with all of the countries you can select. And by the way, they all have at least 100 countries to connect to. Express has 105 and Surfshark has 100, but NordVPN has the most at 126. So speaking of NordVPN, whereas Express is more simple and user friendly, NordVPN is a little bit the opposite. You can see right away that the interface is just a lot more busy. There's a lot going on. You have different specialty servers for specific things that you might want to do, like P2P servers for file sharing or Onion over VPN for connecting to the Onion network. And you have add-ons like Threat Protection Pro, which gives you malware and browsing protection and an add-in tracker blocker, and even a dark web monitor to keep track and see if any of your personal information has leaked out over the internet. Out of all of these, NordVPN by far has the most features and settings, different ways that that you can tweak and configure your VPN. And Surfshark is actually quite similar to NordVPN. There's a bit of overlap between them. For example, Surfshark also has a feature called Alert, which does the same thing as Dark Web Monitor and sees if any of your information has leaked out over the internet. And they also have a feature called MultiHop, which connects you to two different VPN servers and then gets you over to the internet for more security and privacy. And NordVPN has the same feature. They just call it Double VPN. So what's the difference between them? Well, Surfshark is a little bit more toned down. They don't have all of the features of NordVPN. It's not as advanced. And in my experience, it's also not as fast. But even so, Surfshark does have its own benefits. Firstly, and likely most importantly, it's cheaper. It's actually the cheapest of these three. And in general, it's a great budget VPN. And it's also the only one that will allow you to install the VPN on an unlimited amount of devices with just one account. With NordVPN, you're limited to 10 devices per account. And with Express, it's also between 10 and 14, depending on which plan you choose. But with Surfshark, it is literally unlimited. You can cover all of your devices and you can even share your account with your family and friends and they can install Surfshark on their devices as well. Now, one last benefit of Surfshark, and this is a little bit more advanced, is a feature called split tunneling or as Surfshark calls it, bypasser. By default, every app that you use or website that you visit while the VPN is active is going to go through that VPN connection. What split tunneling does or bypasser in Surfshark's case is allow you to choose exactly what you want to go through or not go through that VPN connection. And on Windows, all three of these VPNs have that feature, but on Mac, NordVPN and ExpressVPN do not. The way they have it set up just does not work with Apple devices. The only one of these three that still has the bypasser or split tunneling feature on Mac is Surfshark. So if this is something that you're looking for and something that you need, then Surfshark is pretty much the VPN for you. Now, if you want to find out more about any of these three or how to use them in order to get access to content or a bunch of other stuff, then you can go to the description of this video. There's going to be links for all of that information there. And there's even going to be some discount links there that will save you some money and get you started if you're looking to try one of them out. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.